we would like to have some uh, insight real on your deep strategy about uh, free seats and this new campaign that you are doing. Yeah. Uh, taking account that, for example, in Europe there is a large network of pharma seats and they are active uh, in farming to protect, multiply commerce, their own seeds, pharma to pharma. What is your appreciation of that? Yeah. So the campaign on seed freedom that we've globalized um, with the report that's being uh, released as well as with a combination of seed saving, use of seed in cultivation and production, as well as the resistance to the laws that make it illegal for farmers to have their own seed, is based on the recognition first and foremost that industry is not interested in producing seeds that feed people. They're interested in feeding themselves with super profits. And that's why they're patenting seeds. That's why they are creating seed laws that make it illegal to have your own seeds. That's why they create criteria, very false criteria for registration. Um, based on uniformity, based on mechanical stability rather than ecological evolution. Um, so our seed campaign is basically saying we need the diversity of seed in order to have food security because diversity is the only way to produce more food. It's the only way to produce more food in a resilient way in times of climate change. Secondly, seed is not an invention. The very idea of intellectual property rights on seed is totally wrong. Seed is a common resource. It is a common resource that has evolved over millennia and needs to be kept safe for the future. And we need to create all kinds of strategies to keep seeds in the commons. And for us, that is seed freedom and seed sovereignty. Uh, because seed is the first link in the food chain, food sovereignty rests on seed sovereignty. And um, be again, because most people don't realize what's happened to seed. Most people don't realize that 75% seed is now owned and controlled by five companies. Most people don't realize that the only reason genetic engineering was done was in order to take a patent. Most people don't realize their laws criminalizing seed diversity and seed saving. That's why the campaign is designed in such a way that includes everyone, young children, schools, eaters, because if you don't have the seed, where will you have the food? Uh, policy makers, institutions, parliamentarians, um, because we first of all turn over the laws on seed that make it illegal for farmers to have their seed, as well as laws like patents on seed, as well as breeders' rights, UPOF 91. Um, and, and we think seed saving must now become a mass movement. Everyone should be involved in it. And uh, what do you think about the, the, central or, the central role of the, the farmer control by cultivating, by creating on the field, in the farm, new varieties? Because this is our fight here in Europe. We just speak about the dynamic management of agrobiodiversity. We want to create a parallel alternative lines of uh, control by farmers and uh, by their own knowledge and the rebuild this knowledge because as you know in western country this is most lost is the difference mm -hmm. with south what do you think of this uh, uh, this strategy do you think that the the conflict with the legislation uh, will stop us or do you think that we have a chance to modify also legislation on this well i you know the reason we've launched this campaign is to not just modify the bad legislation, but to get rid of it. Now, there are enough seed laws that govern and regulate the seed industry. The new extension of seed laws to govern and control farmer seed is a totally inappropriate role of centralized state. First, because the criteria being used is not appropriate to farmer seeds. Distinctiveness, distinctiveness, uniformity, stability is the wrong criteria. It was designed to create industrial monocultures. So if we want to have small farms, agrobiodiversity, then 
this is the wrong criteria, we need a different criteria. And for that other criteria, farmers have been the breeders throughout most of history. They need to become breeders again. But as breeders, their criteria are different criteria. They breed for this diversity. Farmers breed for quality, nutrition, taste. Farmers breed for not for stability as a false idea of mechanical reproduction, but for adaptation and resilience. Now, none of these vital criteria that are necessary for food security in our times are even in the basis of the registration. So what, what we've done in India is to basically say the state has no role in controlling farmer seed. Farmers and communities have a role in self-regulating. Industry producing GMOs can't be left to self-regulation. They That's must correct. be governed by the That's state. <laughs> now, this cycle here can't have the same rules for registration as an automobile. It would be ridiculous. First, because it doesn't pollute, so you can't have the same pollution standards. It's ridiculous. Secondly, it does, doesn't run over people and kill them. So there are many, many reasons why the way a bicycle as transport is handled is not governed by the same rules as an automobile. Industrial seed standards can't be applied to farmer seeds. Farmer seeds are like the bicycle, ecological, diverse, sustainable, just. And we need to create our own breeding systems, our own registration systems, and, uh, and have them recognized by the state, but not defined by the state. Uh, yes, we, we totally agree. That's, that's exactly the clarification that we need because uh, here in Europe, uh, I insist in Europe because we are first militant in Europe, as you know, there is a lot kind of confusion. There is a sector of the industry that try to push for deregulation uh, to protect this is and I quote, farmer rights. We want to stop this misunderstanding. See, the industry need to be regulated we will be regulated by ourselves and we will negotiate with the state uh, protection of what, yes. what we are doing. Yeah. I mean, anything that causes harm and is global and national needs to be regulated at the level of global systems. That's why we are having the Convention on Biological Diversity meetings right now. That's why we have a biosafety protocol. Yeah. And uh, that regulation is vital. But self-organized systems are self-regulated and the seed is a self-organized system. Farmer's seeds, open pollinated seeds, native varieties are totally different entities from GMOs. They have to have a different level of regulation, different criteria and principles of regulation and for us seed freedom is the ability of the seed to reproduce itself, renew itself and not be patented. It's to be free of patents. Uh, the Seed freedom is the right of the farmer to save seed, exchange seed, improve seed, sell seed. Not GMO seed, but their own native seeds. And seed freedom, for us, is freedom from brutal laws and monopolies that are taking away our freedom to have alternatives, both in terms of diversity in our farms and pluralism in the way different kinds of seeds are regulated. Thank you for clarity. Thank you. <laughs>